everyone, we're going to evaluate the indefinite integral as an infinite series. We're going to use the table of Maclaurin series here. And let's take each of these pieces. So before we get started, let's note that cosine of x equals the sum n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 um, to the nth power times x to the power of 2n divided by 2n factorial. All right. Given that, we're going to do cosine of x minus 1. Now, please note when we look at this one, our, if we do n, uh, a sub 0, that equals 1. So basically what I can do is start at uh, n equals 1 to infinity, and if I then I'll have negative 1 plus 1 gives me 0. So if I start at 1, um, I'm still going to get my cosine of x, which is going to be negative 1 to the power of n times x to the power of 2n divided by 2n factorial. The only thing I had to do was change this because this, um, this equals 1 and then we would be uh, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. All right, now we have to do cosine of x minus 1 divided by x. Well, that just means uh, we're multiplying through by x. So this is going to be the sum from n equals 1 to infinity, negative 1 to the nth power, and then we have a 2n factorial times x, and this is x to the power of 2n. So basically what we have is x to, um, x, sorry about that, x to the power of 2n times x to the negative 1 power, which is x to the power of 2n minus 1. So I can erase this and write this is x to the power of 2n minus 1. So now we have this sum and we're going to, we're going to integrate this. So we're going to integrate this. All right, so let's do that. We're going to do the integral of cosine of x minus 1 divided by x dx, which is the same as the integral of the sum from n equals 1 to infinity, negative 1 to the power of n times x to the power of 2n minus 1 divided by 2n factorial. All right, so this is going to give me, uh, when you do this, dx, when you do this, you're going to get a c, a constant. So let's put the c first plus the sum n equals 1 to infinity. When you integrate this, you're just going to get x to the power of 2n divided by 2n. And then we're still left with um, 2n factorial in our denominator. Um, so that's it. Um, um, our convergence was going to be all reals, so our radius of convergence is infinity. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.